Yo, what is going on, you guys? It is Rush here, and welcome back to the video here on some more Call of Duty Warzone. Before we continue on today's video, make sure if you guys haven't already, guys, go down below and you guys smash the like button for the consistent content that we have been posting here on the channel. Also, make sure that if you guys haven't already, you guys go down below and you guys join the family, click that subscribe button, and make sure that if you guys click that subscribe button, you guys turn those post notifications on because here on the channel we post daily Call of Duty content varying from Black Ops Cold War to Warzone to any new releases in the Call of Duty franchise. And they update their games regularly, so it's going to be a lot of uh, content being put out daily, and sometimes the notifications don't always go out. So you guys are definitely gonna want to subscribe with the post notifications bell on so you guys never miss an upload. In today's video, we're gonna be covering what I come to believe what the new meta is going to be for assault rifles in Call of Duty Warzone Season 3. Now, this gun is absolutely insane. You guys already saw by the title, this gun is going to be the Krig 6. Krig 6, as you guys all know, was very, very good back when the old Axial Arms was out. People were still using it. Now, the only problem with the old Axial Arms is that it was too zoomed in and it had way too much recoil uh, unstabilization with the old Axial Arms. But with with the new axial arms as you guys can see on screen right here the Krig literally has zero visual and overall recoil so you guys are definitely gonna want to give this class a try now as always the class setup will be at the end of the video right after the gameplay the gameplay is absolutely insane i feel like i could really get you guys on the edge of your seat with the ending but it's an absolutely crazy ending i couldn't believe it but thank you guys so much for kicking on this video and watching and i'll see you guys all at the end for the class setup later guys oh my goodness Oh my egg. No! Oh. Whoa, what the fuck? Hey yo, hey yo, what the fuck? I mean language, but what the actual Hey, I was gonna make me act up, bro. Hey, dude, I'm trying my hardest right now not to get off of Warzone because I need a video filmed. But they are making it extremely hard for me to stay on this game. Ugh, dude, this guy's probably camping my loadout now because of all the fights that I just got in. We need recon here. UAV entering the AO. Okay, nice. He wasn't. He's not an absolute. Dead. Nice. Thank the Lord up above. Bro, where is this guy? Where is this freaking guy? Requesting area recon. You're just gonna, you're just gonna chill there, or what? Okay, so you are on the roof. Nice. Okay. Nice. 
Did he even loot this? Yeah, I don't think he even looted this building right here. He didn't. Wow. So he was just so focused on trying to kill me that he didn't even loot this building. Oh yeah, he did. I'm tripping. Alright, well. Where to now? Um, circle's about to close. That means that ghost is about to happen soon, so... Oh, is there a guy on top fire? Enemy dropping into the AO. Gas is moving nice. in. You say so, locate. How many loadouts is there? One. All right, nice. Dude, I need a, another UAV. That's what I need. Dude, I don't know why. I don't know why that rebirth right now is so sweaty. But solos right now is so easy. Like... Overhead. This is exactly what I'm talking about, bro. Now I gotta back off because I don't Enemy know where UAV the heck this guy is. Like, if I just had money, bro. Bro, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Enemy UAV overhead. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, that's something to do, I guess. Yeah, that's something to Enemy do. Enemy UAV overhead. Airstrike, you are cleared, Hunt. This is Dragon 3 1, good copy. Strike him back. Impact, no joy. Craig outgunning the AMAX? What? Okay, so I'm going for No, I'm going for this guy Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel RTB He's in there? Is that where he was hiding the entire time? Because if he was, that's a really good freaking hiding spot Oh yeah, he is, he's sniping at me Oh shoot Area recon. UAV entering the AO. Be it 
He almost caught me, I'm not gonna lie. Make for target location. I need to sit here for a second. I need to cool down. Oh, okay, I got seven kills with 18 up, one spectator. He probably thinks that I'm hacking with this Craig. I'm. Mean, let's be honest now. Cause he had an Amex. Blah blah blah. It's probably that Amex too. Like 100 P. I have no cash. I really wish that I had cash right now. Aw, oh, he left before I could even tell him the, the I love you thing. Scrapyard is a really bad place to be just because of how many angles there are. That guy's still alive? How's that guy still alive? Oh, he probably won Gulag and came back. Because that's his car design. Yeah, he came back, 100%. I mean, it looks like he's going towards his bounty, so his bounty's over there. Oh, he's coming back. Is, does he even know where his bounty is? He just stopped right there. Fighting done. The area's cleared out. Gas is closing in. Relocating the safe zone. Be advised. There's an enemy team hunting you. Only ten left. Gas is moving. Had an angle on him. There's still someone in scrapyard. If anyone turns this corner, I'm ready to snap on him. Oh no, the car didn't get blown up. Looks like he's still just roaming around in bone, bone yard. That's not a good idea, though. Having a car in bone yard is not a good idea. You could get stuck on so many things. People could just shoot at you while you're getting stuck on those things. It's just not a good idea. It looks like that car might be my bounty. So he knows where I am. He knows that I'm in this general area. He just doesn't want to come over here because he thinks that I'm on the big, 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 ugh, the big building, maybe. But I saw one guy with the kilo over there. He was shooting. He had the green tracer rounds. There was a guy in the car. I killed the other guy, the Rambo, on loadout. And I'm pretty sure there's a guy right here on me. There's only eight people left. Oh, there's only six people left. My bad. Gas is closing. Get to the new safe zone. There's no one in here? Hey, dude, out of all five of the Berthas in the end, we have to have one. You're safe. You lost the enemy trackers. Just watching, making sure that there's no one. Nice. You know okay. what to do. Only four enemies. I just killed one. I'm at nine kills. He seemed like the sweat. Look at his name. His name is Karm. Four opponents and I'm good. Where's the circle pulling? Oh, Get to that's the such a tough, zone. this is such a tough circle then. Just in 
inbound. No. I need a medic. No, dude. Ah. I didn't know there was someone else ahead. It was the guy with the kilo. No, oh, it was a good try. Third place, that's not bad. GG's, bro. I wanna spectate this. I wanna see how who wins. Oh, looks like the guy with the kilo won. GG's, good positioning, that's all I could say. <laughs> hey, ma'am. My mic's way away from me right now, so I'm eating lunch, but thanks, man. Good game to you, too. No problem, bro. Uh, good Have a good one. You too, bro. Alright guys, so the class that we're going to be rocking for the Craig 6 is the Agency Suppressor. We're using the Agency Suppressor for that sound suppression, vertical recoil control, which is very, very big, effective damage range, and bullet velocity. Like I said in the last video with the Farah, this is definitely a necessity for the Craig 6 and every other Cold War assault rifle. There's only a handful of Cold War tactical rifles and assault rifles that uh, don't need the Agency Suppressor, and that's going to be the DMR, and I'll cover the DMR later on down the line, so you guys are just going to have to stay tuned if you guys are DMR lovers. It slaps so hard. But we are up next, we got the Ranger Barrel for the additional bullet velocity. Now, as I said in the last video, all up to preference. If you guys want to use the Takedown Barrel, you guys can use the Takedown Barrel. If you guys want the Ranger Barrel, you guys can go ahead and use that. But I personally prefer the Ranger Barrel. Plus, who doesn't want to see their dragon on the barrel? Like, come on. It's two pluses, one, like, you know. Up next, we got the Field Agent Foregrip. Now, unlike the Farah, the Field Agent Foregrip actually has a good amount of vertical recoil control compared to the uh, Farah's 2%. The Field Agent Foregrip for the Krig actually increases 7%, and the Horizontal Recoil is about... 20% so the field agent foregrip is definitely the move for the Krig 6. Up next we got the Stan Egg 60 round magazine obviously this is for obvious reasons we just want the most amount of ammo in our mag just in case we need to take out multiple enemies at once and if we're missing our shots then we still have a lot of ammo left within the magazine to uh, our disposal. Now I always say this to people but people for some odd reason never really understand why do not use the salvo 60 round fast mag it's an assault rifle i know you guys are going to be like oh you only lose aim, aim downside time but this brings down your aim downside time by so much it, you're by the time you see an enemy and you're aimed in it's you're not going to be able to do anything and plus if it's an assault rifle here's a counteract to what you're saying why are you going to need a fast mag for an assault rifle unless you're literally holding over 10 people this assault rifle kills really, really fast. You do not need a fast mag. So just use the normal stand mag 60 round magazine. And the fifth and final attachment is the changed axial arms three times optic. As you guys can see in the gameplay, we we're beaming people from very, very far away. The new axial arms, it has a very, very clean line of sight. It's like the T pose for the uh, AMAX. So as you guys can see, I was beaming people. It was very, very easy uh, for me to do so. It's really, really sucks that we got a third place ending. If that guy wasn't ahead of me, or if I saw that that guy was ahead of me before, Beforehand. I really feel like I could have got him, ended the game off with a win. That would have been such a clutch ending. I would have won with at least like 11 to 12 kills. So yeah, you guys, that is the new best Krieg 6 loadout. And also what I come to believe the new meta in Call of Duty Warzone Season 3. It just has zero recoil, really, really good overall damage and effective damage range. And it's just an absolute beamer of a weapon. You guys really need to give this a try. In Rebirth, it shreds. In normal Verdansk, it shreds. You guys just need to give this a try. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for all the love and support that you guys have been giving me recently. As you guys saw, my video on the Farah 83 yesterday just reached 1.1 thousand views. So I just want to thank you to everyone who is sticking around on the channel. All the new subscribers that are coming in from that uh, video. I really, really appreciate you. And I'm going to continue to give you guys the best class setups and tips and tricks that you guys need in order to completely conquer Warzone in general. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and watching, and I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's upload. Later, guys.